crazy to the vibe disco. Whoa. You feel the funk. You feel the love. Yes. Hope you're doing fine. I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you're just going. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. This is a market brief. And my own biased opinion <laughs> for the market. Beautiful. In summary, I'm really bearish and I don't know where the bottom is. It might be very close. Yet I am not going to risk my money because I think there are bearishness in the air. Everywhere I go, so it's it's really not the best time to be bullish now. It is okay to be contrarian, but not to me now because I have technical reasoning. Okay, we start with the TLT. Let me tell you what a beautiful inverted hammer for TLT, which is extremely bullish, especially you closed over the low from last week. And you still, even though the low is not in, but supposedly you still have a higher low with an inverted hammer, which is really, really good. I was very bullish last week, yet I looked at this uh, bearish uh, flag and it was broke and it hit the target. So the bearish flag target was met. And we are working on double bottom, which is better if you have higher low and we don't know the future. Okay, so I talked about this possible double bottom and beautiful uh, inverted hammer. Let's talk about the histogram for MACD, still over zero. Beautiful, really good when you uh, test a low with a histogram above zero line and it is the biased when you test a low uh with a bullish macd i always say you trade with the direction of the macd remember that and also the stochastic is over 20 our size over 30 which is beautiful remember that conclusion for tlt Possible double bottom, inverted hammer, bear flag target was met, bullish MACD, bullish, uh, bullish stochastic so far, and RSI over 30, and usually the best results for double bottom is when you have a bullish MACD, assuming bullish double bottom. Good deal. Am I bullish on TLT? You bet yes. Good deal. So it's technical points. So it's not, I'm not. When I was bullish uh, last week, it was based on this technical point. I was, I became bearish after this break of the bear flag. Then now I'm bullish again. Beautiful. This is my pride. Enjoy. My pride. Enjoy. This is the equity put to call. This is my own signal, which I call a disco signal. All oh, praise to disco. Okay, if you are new, I'm going to repeat myself. I don't know why you do that. I'm going to do it again. This is only the two moving averages, the 20 and 50 moving average for equity put to call. If you have a bullish crossover, it's bad for the equity market. And if you have a bearish crossover, it's good for the equity market. And it is amazing how accurate it is all the time. And, uh, and uh, I tweeted yesterday for the one person that is following me right now. And I appreciate that. And I did that for you, my friend, my Turkish friend. I did this video for you. Uh, for the one person that is following me right now, uh, the market was up over 600 points for the Dow. And I said, I'm sticking to disco meaning this disco signal and it is absolutely mind-boggling that the accuracy of this signal is mind-boggling and i don't know anybody in the world that uses this except me and maybe 
two people that are following me uh, using it, please call the disco signal and be nice. Be nice. I gave you something, so please call it disco signal so we could make disco stay forever. For it is the mighty, you know what? So, uh, this is the uh, equity protocol in the daily time frame. And let's put the weekly time frame. And it is still bearish, which means bullish here. Uh, Upsloping uh, 20 day moving average or 20 week moving average. And the same with the 50, which means uh, volatility is here to stay. And you should not be bullish at all as long as the disco signal is on. Good deal. So I talked about TLT and the equity put to call. Let me talk about the VIX. All right, this is, so I put the weekly and monthly. Uh, unfortunately for the market, uh, this is a very bearish signal for the market, bullish for the VIX. You have what I call the disco combo. It is a bullish mode for the MACD stochastic and the RSI, where the RSI is over 50, the, the, the stochastic is over 20, and the bullish MACD is in. <laughs> the MACD is in the bullish mode, and it's really bad for the market and good for the VIX in the weekly time frame when the bullish crossover takes place over the zero line. Okay, you could check it your own uh, for your own time. Most of the time, you have that something bad happen in the market early this year. You could check it on your own time. So this is bullish disco combo. In the weekly time frame for the VIX. Oh God, this is the monthly time frame. Oh Marona me. Oh God. Oh, that's not good. Even bullish man, a bullish disco combo for the VIX in the monthly time frame. You could check it on your own time. Nothing good comes out of this. So I talked about TLT, my bullishness in TLT. I talked about the equity protocol, the disco signal in the daily and weekly time frame. I talked about the VIX in the weekly and monthly. Now I'm talking about the technology, the technology, the cues in the daily time frame. And now we made. <sighs> I'm not happy about that. It's a no, you know, we, we made a new low for today and for this year for the cues. So, uh, it is not good for the cues. In addition to that, we have uh, a bearish disco combo. Yet, we have bullish divergences in the R side and stochastic. Yet, the divergence is always official when it changes direction, meaning. If we go over 20, now we have a bullish divergence in the stochastic. And same is true. If we take this high for the RSI, we have a bullish divergence in the RSI. So it definitely there's some bullishness in the indicator, yet the price action is collapsing. And it's going down and it is not good. And also the Bollinger Band is, is an open mouth formation which means uh, it is not going to offer support, at least for the next few days, in the queues. So this is the queues in the daily time frame. This is the weekly time frame, and I posted that some times ago. I think when we broke this trend line, I posted this in early January. So you have an uptrend, High, higher high, high, lower high in the MACD, high, lower high in stochastic. Nothing beautiful comes out of that. And same thing with the RSI. And you broke the trend line, and boom. Now we made a new week um, low. And you could, you could argue that we just broke. You know, uh, broke down from uh, head and shoulder formation. But we have to wait till next week. So I don't like shorting. 
you know I don't I don't chart at all and, and I'm not gonna go long for the cues at all for the reasons I talked about another thing every time the RSI goes below 50 something bad happens a major correction as I said in early this year and when you have another failure another bad thing happen you fail to to settle over 50 in the RSI in the weekly time frame another thing uh, when stochastic have this reading in the weekly time frame that means the momentum is weak and you might have what some call embedded reading when the red and the black goes below 20 for sometimes price destruction is imminent if history repeats itself so I talked about the cues for the daily and weekly I'm not happy when I talk about bear stuff I really I, I don't like it. I don't like wealth destruction but it happens okay so monthly time frame okay as I stated that some times ago we had shooting star in the monthly time frame and another shooting star and uh, and a hanging man and a bearish engulfing in the weekly time frame and this what happened nothing beautiful happens after that and also a bearish divergence in the RSI and it went below 70 which is not never been a nice thing at all you know it's always bad always bad okay okay I can do it here so uh, it, it, it's never been good never been good uh, and you know I'm not happy about it as I said earlier And also, you have the lowest RSI reading below 50, which is extremely bearish in the monthly time frame. It is the lowest since 2009. It is not good for the market. Okay? You can read what I read, what I wrote here. You can read what I wrote here. And it's not good. So, never belittle the bearish or bullish divergences in different time frames. They always make a major top or bottom. And it's not good. It's not looking good for the market yet. Things change in a heartbeat usually. But I'm not going to risk my money in risky assets right now. And I don't know where the bottom is. Uh, the bearishness is at extreme, but the VIX is not at extreme right now. We, 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 33 is not that high. Maybe over 40 will uh, uh, produce a capitulation. The beauty about being a trader is I change my mind instantly when I see other technical things in the chart. And, 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 and you always try to be independent, never have thesis, and, and, and love life, love disco. And no, the disco is the only truth, nothing else matters. And do remember the harmony, the love of disco. That is the main reason that makes it eternal. And disco is forever!